In this hands-on video, we take a brief look at what's new in iOS 14.4 Beta 2. Check it out. So after a lengthy wait between betas, we finally get iOS 14.4 Beta 2. Here it is right here, running on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And what you'll notice right off the bat is that not a lot has changed in this second beta. In fact, a lot of the bugs, like the stuttering that occurs when swiping from an app back to the home screen are still there. And battery life seems more or less the same. Now that all being said, there are some differences, they're just very subtle. The biggest difference in my opinion has to do with the HomePod mini handoff functionality, which is different than the handoff functionality that you get with the standard size HomePod. If you can remember this new handoff functionality was first revealed at Apple's iPhone 12 event. And this all works thanks to the U1 ultra wideband chip inside the HomePod mini and of course inside the iPhone and that lends greater spatial awareness so that as you get closer to the HomePod mini, the handoff functionality will alert you by vibrating your phone subtly and then more drastically as you get closer to the HomePod mini. And as this occurs, you'll see a little handoff preview bubble at the top of the screen, which will then expand into a full view like this once you get close enough to the HomePod mini with your iPhone. Now in the developer beta 2, this handoff functionality works a lot better. Now it's still not perfect, but it is way better than the initial beta. In the first beta, the buttons didn't really work all that well. The handoff functionality was extremely finicky and it didn't always populate the right information in the preview window. But now, as you can see, it works pretty well. So this allows you to hand off to your HomePod mini and hand off back to your iPhone from the HomePod mini. So the HomePod is currently playing, but you see that button transfer to iPhone. You can tap that now and it'll transfer the music. As you can see, the HomePod stops playing and the song is transferred back to the iPhone. So we're gonna open up the music app and the music should be playing as it is right here on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand off back to the HomePod mini. So let's go ahead and try that right now. So we're just gonna move a little close like that and bam, pops in the view just like that. So now I hand it off back to the HomePod mini. Now let's try this again. So I'm just gonna move my iPhone slowly towards the HomePod mini and as you can see, the preview window uh, gets a little larger and the haptic feedback on your phone gets a little bit more forceful as you get closer to the HomePod mini. So it looks like the song just changed there and you see the little preview bubble automatically update. So that's okay. We're gonna move closer to the HomePod mini now and see if this will hand off without any problems. So lots of haptic feedback and it pops right there into view, hand it off back to the HomePod mini, just like that. So this, like I said, works way better than it did in the initial developer beta, but still not perfect. Now, another new feature that you'll find in iOS 14.4 beta 2 is the ability to define Bluetooth device types. Now, why would you need to do this? Well, actually Apple really kind of explains it when you open up the device type section. So in a nutshell, specifying the type of device can ensure that your headphone audio level measurements are accurate. And you see the different types of devices. You have car stereo, you have headphone, hearing aid, speaker, and other. Um, you could just choose whichever device this is. Obviously it's a TV, so this doesn't really apply here. But the point is this will make it so that iOS doesn't mistake, for instance, a speaker or a car stereo for a pair of headphones in which it will turn down the volume drastically. So this will prevent your volume from automatically dropping, which can be super annoying when connecting to something like a speaker. So ladies and gents, that has been a brief look at iOS 14.4 beta 2. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.